Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another green light unboxing video. And this one's gonna be pretty cool. This is Hollywood Series 26. Um, of course, these cases are provided to me. Well, not provided to me, because they're not my cars, okay? Um, these cases are provided to me by Dicastrum. Go ahead and check him out on Instagram and YouTube. Um, I act as a hub for him. He orders stuff. It comes through my house and then eventually gets shipped to him uh, once we break it down to just the cars without the packaging. But anyway, he lets me unbox his stuff on my channel, for which I am thankful. And we are going to go ahead and check this out. I'm going to go kind of quickly through this. Um, I may eventually do also a showcase on this set on the Lamley blog. So stay tuned for that. But we're going to go through it. I don't know, sort of quickly. Um, we're really looking for chase cars is what we're doing when, these, when we do these unboxings. So we do have a chance at that. And we're just going to pull them out one by one. Talk about them just a little bit. So, the first one, 1953 Studebaker Commander Starliner. This is a brand new tooling from Greenlight. And this is the first release of it. This will also come out later on, uh, actually very, very soon, in the Panamericana Series 2 where you'll see it in more of a racing livery and here you get it in this nice stock uh, look this blue Stu Studebaker Starliner from the series Home Improvement I remember watching Home Improvement quite a bit when I was young and uh, kind of a funny series so again green light in their licensing they get a lot of different licenses, and uh, they really go after it. So, pretty cool. 1953 Studebaker Commander Starliner. Um, let's take a look at the base real quick. Let's just see if I can see a number on there. Uh, it looks like it is... Uh, and that is tough to read. It's almost like this one is etched in there. I want to say it's like 30419. Which, wow, that'd be like, really? 30,419? So, I know they produce a lot of the Hollywood series cars. They produce more of the Hollywood series cars, I think, than any other series. I'm sorry, I gotta keep drinking water, guys. I got a little bit of a frog in my throat. <clears throat> I want to see, too, if we could find a tooling number on the bottom. And there it is. It's tooling number 173. So that's a late number in there, because I think the highest one I've seen so far has been, like, 160. So that's 13 off. Greenlight comes out with a lot of new tooling, year over year. All right, the next one we got is from the movie Speed. There you go. And it is the 1970 Ford Bronco. Um, this casting's been out for a long time. Looking for a uh, number on the bottom. The numbers are going to be really hard to read on these because they printed them. I don't know if they're printed or etched or what, but they're printed in like a silver. And I can barely read it through the packaging, so that's going to be tough. I have no idea what the number of that is. There you go if you want to take a look at the back. Get ready for rush hour speed man I haven't seen that movie in a long time don't know if I ever will see it again who knows I don't know where this movie is or where this Bronco is really placed in the movie either so I'm not really sure about that uh, let's see next let's go ahead and open up this one this is one that I did order for myself the 75 checker taxi from the movie Taxi Driver. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Uh, the movie's a classic. Crazy classic movie. I don't have any example of this tooling, so uh, this is a tooling that I do need to get, so I think I, I definitely, I think I pre-ordered this one. So pretty awesome. 1975 Checker Taxi. 
again we'll check and see if we can find a number down there but I'm telling you it's like impossible to see mm, I might have done it different on this one it looks like it's in black on this one 3419 is that it tooling number is 110 on this one pretty interesting all right next one is going to be the most heavily anticipated one in the set and that is this right here the fall guy truck 1982 gmc k 2500 take a look at that <clears throat> pretty awesome so I think this is a brand new tooling. Um, the number is 04219 on the base. Um, looking for a tooling number. Yeah, it's there. It's like 174, I think. So yeah, definitely a brand new tooling. Definitely an awesome looking truck. Let's take a look at the back. And of course, this is one I wanted as well. So I did pick up this as well. Very, very, very cool. Fall guy truck. All right, we got two more to go. Next is Groundhog Day, 1980 Chevy Caprice, which I think we did actually see this tooling before. Yeah, I think this is the same tooling as the Home Alone release of this car. It was also in a Hollywood series. Pretty cool. Really trying hard not to have like a coughing fit right now. <laughs> so sorry about that. It's kind of slowing down the video a little bit. Uh, Groundhog Day. A little about it there. Let's see if we can see a number on the base of this thing. Again, it's printed in that weird silvery color. Tooling number on this one is 169. So I think they did actually give it a new tooling number because I don't think that was the tooling of the other one. I have to t I have to check and see what the difference is. Because I know they did a Caprice tooling, or maybe I'm mistaken. I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. I should be checking out this too. This one's got painted details for headlights. Again, painted details for taillights. Painted, 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 and then this one's painted and painted too. Sometimes they do um, lens detail, and sometimes they do painted details. This one's painted detail. So it's kind of interesting to take a look at. And then the last car in the set, no green machine, it is Sanford and Son 1971 Chevy C10. a nice looking Chevy C10. This is a casting that's been around for a long time for green light. Quite a long time. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to see the number on the bottom of that without taking it out. Take a quick look at the back. Looks pretty good. All right, so all in all, it's a pretty stellar series. Um, some really good hits here. There's the, the Chevy C10, which is a favorite. That Studebaker Commander, which is a brand new tooling, and it looks really nice. It looks really awesome. Uh, Taxi Driver, which is a classic movie that a lot of people, I think, like. So, including myself. So that's going to be a winner, I think, as well. Just really cool. I'd have to get into like what the, the details on the taxi are compared to the one in the movie, how they compare. Pretty awesome though. And then uh, nice looking police car from a really cool movie, Groundhog Day. This is probably the weak one in the series, but it's a popular casting for Greenlight. Uh, a lot of people do enjoy this 1974 Bronco casting. I like it more in the lifted variety than this, this uh, standard 
height variety, but still pretty cool. But the favorite, without a doubt, is going to be this Fall Guy truck. 1982 GMC K2500. I think previous to this Fall Guy truck coming out, I think the only company that ever did one was Ertl. And it wasn't like a very spectacular casting or anything like that. It was an older Ertl uh, sort of 164 scale truck. So no one's really done this. And uh, leave it up to Greenlight to get that movie licensing and go ahead and, and produce this truck. Not a bad move and definitely going to be a popular car. All right. Anyway, I got to go. My throat is killing me. Um, so thank you guys very much for watching this video. Uh, we did not get a chase, but that's okay. A lot of cool cars in the series. Thank you guys very much, and have a good day.